Welcome back, and I think this is the way to the West Highway, isn't it? It is. Apparently we can't do the monster yet. Okay. Thankfully the um, guardhouse is here. Aren't you a student from the military academy? What are you doing here? We told this office to trouble you. We're hoping we might be able to help with some swing. Can I ask a few questions about the incident? What's that have to do with you? We were visiting the town on field studies, students of Falls Military Academy. We very much appreciate the chance to see how experienced soldiers such as yourselves handle difficult and everyday situations. This seems a perfect opportunity for anecdotal case study and could prove most invaluable to education. Alright, stay here, I'll see what I can do. Looks like we might be able to hear what we have to say for ourselves after all. In times like these, we need to make good use of our positions. No one can fault a student for wanting to learn after all. But now comes the hard part. It's making me nervous. Remember, it's not what they say it matters, but how they say it. And more importantly, what they don't say. Ah, I hope you appreciate talking this time out to busy schedules with this. What do you want? Make it quick. We'll be brief then. We came to discuss the incident of the market. Would it be correct in assuming that the provincial army will be conducting no further investigation? Is that all you came to ask? Should the armed forces charged with maintaining peace in this region not be taking the matter more seriously? Laura, I'm not quite sure. You've got a big mouth for someone your age. Seems you have a lot to learn about how military units actually work. What do you mean? Let me ask you this. What should number one priority of the provincial army be in order to maintain the status quo? I'll tell you. Their number one priority should be to able to enforce the will of their region's ruling lord. Duke Elberea? As members of the provincial army, the will of the nobility is absolute. We're just following our orders, protecting what we have a duty to protect. I'm assuming you're referring to a local petition against the sales tax. So you're saying that as long as petitions are withdrawn, the grand market isn't something you have a duty to protect. Interpret my words however you want. We're soldiers, we follow our orders. We don't need some fresh military academy inductees telling us how to do our jobs. I was hoping we'd be able to get something out of him. So is that it then? I hope this has been enlightening. Now if you excuse me, I have a job to do. Wait, would you mind answering just one more question? Fine. Um. Do you have any ideas what might have actually happened to the goods Marker was handling? You know, the accessory merchant already had left without one sample. What are you talking about? Merchant with Capital Hines was, one who, was the one who was planning to sell it off at accessories. What? What did you say? What are you looking at me like that for? How do you know that? I was only impressed with the impression you hadn't investigated the matter at all. How peculiar. We only discovered what each of the merchants were intending to sell a short while ago ourselves. Sir, we have our own ways of finding things out. You do well not to underestimate us. Now, we're wasted of time answering your questions, we're leaving. Do you think the fact they know what each of the merchants were selling means they did investigate the matter after all? A burglary happened last night and this was only first discovered this morning. Realistically, I don't think there's any opportunity during the time for them to do any digging, not without running into us. Agreed. I suspect they knew what each merchant was planning to sell well in advance of yesterday's incident. Though that would be easy information for them to learn since Duke Alvarez must have issued permits. That's true, and the army would have no trouble of gaining access to transaction records. Maybe I need to know so I can prepare. I get the impression that the incident of the market would have been carefully planned out for a while. Don't most two merchants have been given permits to the same spot with skin and either. It's probably done to get them to start fighting so they could get robbed while there was tension between them. Basically, to get a situation that couldn't be brought under control without the army's help. Two merchants are being used. Seems perfectly fit with what happened this morning. Meanwhile, the provincial army has shown no interest in actively working towards a solution. Unless the market manager chooses to withdraw his petition. 
so he waited for things to get out of hand and showed up to force both the parties into an uncomfortable truce. Eventually, the merchants would get worn down enough and feel like they had no choice but to withdraw a petition, turning out to be an even more shady situation than I thought. Yes, but thanks to Elliot, I do believe we've finally uncovered the truth. That was indeed some very quick thinking, Elliot. Make a fine military strategist. I just got lucky at all. So what we know is the provincial army is somehow involved. The only way to stop it once and for all seems well to find them and catch them. If I was carried out by members of the army, it's not going to be an easy task. No, I don't think anyone from the army was directly involved. The soldiers here are far too proud. I tend to agree, really. Wherever the culprits are, I doubt they're still in it here in Keldic. There's not many viable places to hide. Maybe it's to get my train? No, that can't be boarding a train without much of merchandise. Less than a day since the burglary happened, so they kind of gotten far. Ask around the main roads. Okay. It's my turn. Right. Right. Go. So we went into a chapel. This thing got about you can indeed fast travel here. Can I go in? Yes, I was in Quarry. Why it seems to match the description. This morning, a young lady came in panic. I tell she seemed to have been travelling alone. Did she say anything else? Something about returning to the inn for, to a further check. Hey there, is something a matter? Do you have a moment? It's something I'd like to ask you. Are oh, you looking for Annabelle? Bad timing, she just left. You have a name now, at least. What's left to actually find her? She'll be searching the rest area uh, in the Grand Market. You wouldn't happen to know a young lady came here searching for Wallace. She was indeed here a few moments ago. Unfortunately not. I mentioned something about having no choice but to rely on Adas. So I'm going to a church for multiple reasons. Would you be Annabelle? Hey, does please have mercy on my poor soul. So we can't believe how much I'm supposed to live on. Looks like you found her. Tragic heroin act made it kind of obvious. Fortunately, we have to interrupt her. <laughs> just who are you? Well, you can just turn right around if you're planning to rob me. I no longer have any. Please calm. I just want to ask you something. Are we correct in assuming you're Annabelle? I am. Thought so. You wouldn't happen to recognise this wallet, would you? That's my wallet. Where'd you find it? Thank you. Kindness remains within people's hearts. Regardless, I'm very grateful. Any particular amount you want like in return? You can take half of what you want here if you'd like. I don't think we can accept that. Your thanks alone are enough. I see. How about this then? Purchase it a souvenir. A Picard plush. Indeed. Thank you again. Managed to find me owner? We can't thank you enough. So what's that card plus do? Um, items... HP defense and... Uh, that's cool. Equip.
I think that's better. Time to talk to the person over here about it. Who are you? You're a cat. Oh, are you okay? I not quite about nasty, nasty man did to her. It's doing a matter. I'm just chasing him to Lulu near the exit. There's a weird man asleep along the side of the street. It's even in the midst of a bustling town like this. Or oh, we're just really drunk. Nasty smell coming off him nearly made, me, made little Lulu faint. Where he was. Don't know who he is, but I'll have to keep an eye on Lulu. I've seen him before. I think we go talk to him. That's a drunken man. He can't leave town yet. No. <coughs> Bring me a little drink. Hey, you, this guy reeks. It's only midday. He's already uh, completely blitzed. I think this is the man we're looking for. Bringing out trouble pulling off a robbery. So you right? You can't be back home if you like. Sure, let me alone. I'm just good with nothing. He's lost his job. Looking after that nature park all my whole life. Nature park? You kids are know, but we're not in nature park, northwest of here. I used to be a park ranger. And you lost your job? Yeah, out of nowhere. I gave my life that job and he just came and took it away from me. Damn fish just showed about nowhere to stacked. Can't take a man's livelihood. Okay. Hey, a bunch of kids like that are gonna do a better job than me. I'm drinking last night too, you see. A bunch of kids in range uniforms went walking out of kid nowhere. Weird thing was I was carrying a bunch of wooden boxes. Kids these days. No trouble stashing the merchandise. Like the entrance, leave a couple of lookouts. The provincial officer, the provincial officer was the one telling him he was fired. That's practically a smoking gun. I said you start trying to sober up. There's a good chance you may be able to recover both your park and your job. We know our next stop. So we're fully prepared. Let's head out. I say I'm already fully paired. Bears a quest monster to my left. We should take a right here to reach the neighborhood. Right, let's go. I'll okay, take a left to uh, reach a quest monster. There's water. Traps. Turn to flames. My turn. Keep it up, everyone. Here we go. Arts. Crap. Do 
what you're gonna do. A wind attack. Ouch. I can do this. I saw you that. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. Uh, weak to earth, weak to fire. Drawing against wind. A man's bow on a bit of balance towards sword. My turn. Definitely. Is that a level upon force and a level upon cannon? Increased with HP, increased all the stats of it. Arts in passion. Uh, ten, see, uh, nice. Tira. That here multiplied by 1.5. I got a breath. I did it. Hmm? They're all up as well. <laughs> I've only. Now, does that go straight away? Tell Otto, got it.
off guard. But no man. My turn. Okay. Craft also needs cutter. Mind. Here we go. Marcus, activate. Hm. Marcus, activate. Now. Okay, what's that ultimate I unlocked anyway? Quartz. Shield 2. And, um, prep. There's an AoE heal. Information. Allows you to see daytime enemies yet to be analyzed. Jump through here, and that's the nature park up there. Stop up before I'm out. See if there's anything going on here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this opportunity just to quickly heal up. Ormond, Reen. And then the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, and bye bye.